How you doing everybody? Paul Lynn here for Lethal Arm Assassins Network. Um, thanks once again for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share for more content. Um, today I'm just going to do an unboxing and kind of a demo on a product that I ordered from wristball.net. Um, it's my buddy Misha out in, in, in Israel actually. Um, he was able to finally get it shipped here through the coronavirus and everything. So um, this is what we got here. Um, haven't opened it yet. It's the Wrist Max. Um, it's a finger cup training device. A lot of flat, uh, the way I anticipate using it is gonna be for flat finger um, pressure training, as well as wrist grip and general wrist strength and uh, wrist flexion. So I'll give you, let you take a look at it, and then I'll give you my take on the general feel of the quality. Um, and then I'll go ahead and give it a shot, um, see what I think of it, and uh, maybe figure out a little demo as to how I would probably use it most. All right, so, so first off, price point, I believe the large is about 40 bucks and the extra large is 45. So this is 3D printed, it, it definitely is, I can tell that. However, it does not seem to be hollow. It's heavy, like it's pretty heavy duty. Um, it, it, it feels like an upgrade as far as quality from what Mazarenko does. Um, the Mazarenko has the eccentric handle um, that I have laying around here somewhere. But uh, this is 3D printed also. Um, this just feels quite a bit heavier and it doesn't seem to be completely hollow. Um, the gist of the product, I believe you tighten it up on the back of your hand or even on the back of your wrist, hook it up to your cables here, and it allows you to get that shelf pressure with the finger down and cupping here. Um, like I said, I also anticipate being able to ridge grip with it. Um, the real question that I have too, uh, before, I, before I try it out and everything, is if I can get that pressure on the back of my wrist, how that's necessarily gonna feel. But overall, the, um, the nylon's really good. Uh, it seems to be heavy duty. It doesn't, it, for a $40, $40 price point, um, not too bad as far as quality goes, I don't think at all. I, it, it doesn't seem like this is a product that's going to deteriorate over time. All right, let's give it a try. I'll, I'll use it here today, today's workout and I'll let you know what I think. Thanks again. All right, guys, so I gave it a little dry run, went through a little workout with it. Um, uh, I'm thinking there's about three different ways that I will most likely use it. Uh, first off, in the traditional fashion that I think he would normally have, you, you know, have uh, identified for you to use it would be thumb out, Strap on the back of the hand, nice and tight. And as you can see, you have that, that flat finger pressure there. That leaves the plastic into your fingers, um, which I think is really good for that, 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 that flat finger, like whole finger pressure coming down. Um, so you can obviously use it that way. Very good for isolating the wrist uh, and pressure into those fingers. The, the only reason uh, that I could see not to use that is as Devin says, you know, you don't, this instance where your hand is way open like this and there's no gap, um, doesn't really simulate holding another opponent's hand. So I think uh, what could be another viable way of using this is to create the gap yourself. So if you wanna create that gap in there, you can go thumb in and really set your hand where you want it to create that gap. As long as you tighten that down, now it's less of an arced up open uh, situation. Now your pressure comes directly through your fingertips and you have that whole gap right in there. So you can now work in this motion. To me that feels much much better than having the pressure the whole way through my fingers. But to each their own. Um, the, last, the, the last couple ways you can use it I think if you wanted to is you could really kind of get it in your wrist line there, hand the whole way through, tighten that down real tight and now you have a huge gap here, a lot more than, than normal. Um, and now you're focusing really more, there's less pressure on your fingers here, and there's more into your wrist. So now it's more of a straight wrist movement with a little bit of finger pressure. The only downside there is this portion of, uh, uh, of the handle will kind of stop you from going into full flexion, but it still gives you a ton into the wrist. Um, and the last thing, and the way that I probably will use this most, is from a ridge grip perspective. Um, so when I say ridge grip, I mean, I'm now, I'm going to go ahead and back my hand up on the handle, get that as tight as I possibly can, and now change the angle and the pressure of my fingers 
down into, into the plastic, right? So all my pressure and all my cup is coming through my fingers. Um, this is an instance where it's obviously much more challenging. I only got 20 pounds on right now and that really kills the fingertips. Now all that flexion comes directly through your fingertips. Um, all in all, I really like the tool. Um, I do see this um, replacing some of the other tools that I, I'm already using to, the, to this day. It's definitely very ergonomic. I do highly, highly recommend this. So once again, look up um, the Wrist Max. It's on uh, wristball.net. Misha's a good dude. Make sure you support as much as you can. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe and share.